Hey, it's the Channel Marshmallows. I'm here to review the Sima or Sima M1870 Airsoft Bearing Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. All in all, a really good gun. I mean, I'd highly recommend it. Um, uh, I mean, just overall, better than your normal average piece of crap. Um, let's start out with what's included in the box that you get. You get a, a small bag, a bag of Allen wrenches, small, medium, large. You can take the whole gun apart if you wanted to. Um, second is a, a you know, small gra a bag of point two mil gram BBs. You could use them. They're not necessarily good for it. A speed loader. This isn't it. The one that the speed loader that comes with this, don't buy it. It sucks. Like I'd go I'd go show you right now, but it, it I don't know. But anyway, it just sucks. It, it doesn't e it doesn't even do this right. It doesn't even do that right. Uh, it comes with scope rings and a special adapter for your speed loader that you put on the magazine. But yeah, like I said, go out. You you really need to buy a speed loader because the magazine on here. This magazine, it's so hard to just push BBs in there. It it, it honestly is. So just get like a speed loader, and then you can just pop that on there. Do that. Yada yada. Um. Yeah, it's a good gun. The magazine is pretty much plastic all around. It's good. I mean, it really feels like not. It does not feel cheap. It feels really good. I felt pretty crappy airsoft guns for, so I know what it's like. Um, it also comes with them jamming out of here with chosen little end in this end. This is really, um, besides like the chiseled end gun through here. Eh, besides that, this this is really a piece of crap. It broke on mine. Spend twenty bucks, get yourself a gun cleaning kit. It might help. Also, like I said, BBs. I went ahead and bought myself a bag of 5,000.25 gram BBs from TNC Tactical. They're so much better than .20s. I tested out, and I believe that the .25s shoot a lot better. But um, that's just me. If you want, you can go get .43s for all I care, which I don't. On to the gun itself, real quick. You gotta make this fast. Okay, um, here's scope rings. Features a 4x32. Oops, 4x32 scope. Shoots nice. Um, metal bipod. Let me just metal bipod that folds up here. Yeah. I mean, then you could adjust it by just see spring. You could put it wherever you want. Um. It, it, I I use this. I mean, it's good. But um. Anyway. The gun it feels really nice, like I'm not even I'm not just saying that it feels has a nice weight to it. Um but I did lose the part of the scope ring though. You gotta watch out for it. Um also it features a retractable stock stock. And only one um sling mount. I uh, don't put a sling on it. Um also uh this bolt action like I said, so you just pull this back side forward. And well, real quick. You see that? You just have to pull it up just a little bit, just a little bit, not all the way, just just a little bit. Slide it back like that. It's, it's, trust me, it's not that bad. But for the scope, oops. I mean, fold the bipod up both ways. But for the scope, it has um things where you can adjust on here. And the scope is full metal, the rail's metal, everything but just this body right here is is metal, everything but that. And the stock. All the whole stock is plastic. That's the review for the SEMA M1870. Um, it's John Marshmallows, I might make two, but well that's it. I'll see you later guys.